bucks, there's nobody near can kill me. I'll get to you before you can get to me. Twenty bucks. If you can kill me, I'll give you. A, I'll give our guitar player twenty bucks to give to you because I'll be dead. Listen, hang on. Who wants a money ring? There you go, baby. Kill me with your one and touch, baby.
just said, which I wish I could take back. Before we started this song, before we started the last song I played, I let you know that it... You are Well, I didn't say that myself. I just said that I... I did! What I said was I hope you think I'm a rock god, but listen. But I'm not, listen, I'm not, I can't, I'm being honest with you, I'm not interested in what you think. <laughs> what I meant to say was that I hope my son thinks I'm a rock god. Awesome. The only thing in my life that I ask for at the end of the road, when I'm on my deathbed, all I want to know is that my son knows the time I spent away from him out here on the road was worth it to him. Not to me, to him. So I hope at the end of the line he thinks I'm a rock god. Not you, I don't care what you think. Even though I am appreciative of what you think, I don't, I'm not going to let myself be affected by it because that's how you get sad. Forever together! You got it, buddy. song when I fucking feel like it. <laughs> this next song is about being completely broke, but somehow I'm still happy.
Yeah, we talked about it earlier, didn't we? <laughs> this part's for you, my friend. Listen. I was in Arizona, 2004. Rob Zombie was filming his movie, Devil's Rejects. Me and him are sitting in Arizona, burning our asses off. I look up to him and I say, it feels like hell out here, man. And he says, he looks at me and he says, do you realize you're talking to Rob Zombie? You have no idea what hell feels like, my friend. And I said, you're probably right. I'm sorry, never should talk about hell around you again. Because obviously you know more than me. Turns out he was just kidding. He just doesn't joke around very good. <laughs> anyway, me and him end up in the back of a pickup truck in Arizona, in 2003. Driving down the highway going 90 miles an hour is where we wrote this next song. It's called Unstoppable. Me and Rob's on here. He's back there at the bar. I love you, Rob. I'll see you after the show.
we've ever written in our entire career, in my entire life. I love you too. Does anybody got a pair of sunglasses I could wear? I do have cards. 
It's just an area rug, though. I have, it's all wood, but I have an area rug in the living room. That I sit on all the time, and here I am sitting on this rug like I always do, and the phone rings and interrupts my meditation. Pick up the phone. Hello? Hello. Hey man, this is uh this is California. This is Cap this is uh the exit of Capistrano. <laughs> San 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 Juan Capistrano. Capacucho? <laughs> this is San Juan Capacucho. <laughs> And we were wondering if you would consider coming over here on the west side and playing a show for $265 million. Yeah. And I said, Jesus Christ, that's a lot of money, my friend. Are you really willing to give us that much? And he says, hell yeah. And I said, well, as, as good as that sounds, my friend, I have two kids, I have a wife, and there's no money that can compare to me just being home with them and spending time with them, so I'm gonna have to decline. And I slam the phone down. Bam! Woo, fuck yeah! yeah. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Five minutes later, the phone rings again. And I pick it up. <laughs> Hello? Hey, my friend, it's me again. Listen, I'm sorry to bother you for the second time, but I was wondering if you guys would consider playing this show down over here in San Juan. I was wondering if you'd consider playing this show for $465 million. Now, if you turn that down, I'm going to say that you're an idiot. And I said, I put the phone down for a minute. I, I said, this is ridiculous. There's a lot of money involved in this. And I put the phone up to my head again. I said, like I said, man, I'm sorry. But I'm going to have to decline. I want to spend some time with my family. Plus, I want to watch the sixth season of Dexter. No. Yeah. Or no, no, it was the seventh season. Seventh season. Golden of Golden Girls. I want to watch the seventh season of Golden Girls. <laughs> And I slammed on the phone, no thank you, bam. Slammed it down for the second time. 10 minutes later, the phone rings again, but this time I hesitate to pick it up because I know who it is. It's San Juan Capacama I'm sorry I'm bothering you. I'm sorry that we're bothering you for the third time, but listen, this is the last time I'm calling you. Listen, would you be interested in coming over here and playing the show for free? And I said, well, I, of course, will play it for free. I can't turn that down. That's what it's all about! Yeah, we're playing for free! Yes, 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 we're playing for free!
has been doing this shit our whole life. Yeah. We've been around for nine years so far. No matter how popular we get, no matter how not popular we ever will be, we're still going to do everything that we do. No matter what, it doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter.
11, 12, 13, 14. <laughs> Leonardo, Donatello, Michael Michael. I own four. The I own four. The iPhone four. There's been four of them so far. That was ago. iPhone 4S! 4S! Has it been five? Really? 4S! Talk to Siri! Well, there's been the iPhone 4, but then there was the iPhone 4S. Is that, is that the five, or is that the four point, you know? 4.5! It's so all, they're all, it's all a rip-off, isn't it? Angel. You guys remember the sidekick? The pager. The pager. I just recently got to do an interview for a magazine. I'll send you a fax. I'll send you a fax. My favorite magazine I had ever done an interview for. Now listen, let me tell you a little brief history about this is our last song, okay everybody? I'm sorry guys, I'm only human. No, you're a god! I'm, I, am, I am a god, aren't I? I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. Listen everybody, I just recently got to do an interview for a magazine that I had been reading my whole life. My dad turned me onto this magazine. My dad read this magazine when I was little, and when I was old enough to read, he introduced me to it. He said, Eric, I think you'll love this magazine. It's all about music. It's got a bunch of bands in it. It's got all kinds of musicians. Listen, I think music's the coolest thing in the world, he said to me. And he said, I'd like you to read this magazine. I think it'll get you hyped up for it. And it really did, because here I am on stage playing music. That's, that's what inspired me, this magazine. Oh, oh, I'm about to throw up. I'm going to throw up. Oh, my God. I'm just kidding. I'll hold it, I'll hold it. No way. Here we go, guys. Listen, this magazine I've been reading my whole life, and I finally, just recently, before I did this tour, I got to do an interview for this magazine. My dad introduced it to me. He'd been reading it his whole life. I've been reading it my whole life. Finally got to do the interview, and I was so excited. I thought it was the best interview I've ever done. He, they asked me all the normal questions, like, where'd you get your band name? What's your favorite piece of food? What's your favorite color? How old are you? Uh, you know, all that type of thing. And I gave him all the normal answers. I thought it was the best interview I had ever done, and I really prepared for it. I, I like, got ready for it. This was a big deal for me because I'd been reading it, like I said, my whole life. It's a big deal for me. So when I heard that the magazine was coming out, I rushed to my local grocery store, and I picked up the... I went to the magazine aisle, and I picked up the magazine that I had finally... I was finally in it, and I flipped to the page that was featuring Foxy Shazam, and I read... Give it to us! And it turns out this guy thinks we suck. What? He says that we... He says that our keyboard player looks like a terrorist. He says that our guitar player has the lower half of a woman. He says that I sound like a girl on the phone. And I don't have anything against girls. I think that they're pretty. But I'm not a girl. I'm a man and I want to sound like a man. But this guy didn't think so. He said I sound like a girl. And I always go through the drive through too, and they say, please pull forward, ma'am. <laughs> Drives me nuts. Anyway, this guy said my band sucks. 
And because, seeing as how I've been reading this magazine my whole life, and I've based my whole career upon it, I just about broke down. I got on down on my knees and I was crying in the little loose grocery store. <laughs> and I realized something just then and there. I realized, wait a minute, I'm an adult. And being an adult, I need to learn to deal with some feedback. We all need to learn to deal with some feedback, baby. <laughs> ginger from the bartender at the other end of the bar. And the reason he orders a whiskey ginger is because that's what his dad orders and that's all that he really knows. Give me a whiskey ginger. The bartender at the other end says, he says, come and read up my friend. And he pours the man his first whiskey ginger and he slides it down to the man at the other end of the bar and he picks it up and he drinks it real fast and he slams he slams the empty glass down, he slides it back, he says, keep them coming, my friend. The bartender says, you got it, buddy. And he fills up his second glass filled with whiskey and whiskey, I mean, ginger and whiskey. Then he slides it down for the second time to the man, anxiously awaiting his second glass of whiskey. And he picks it up and he drinks it just as fast as he drank the first one. And he slams it down. Keep him coming. He drinks his third. He drinks his fourth. He drinks his five. He drinks his six. He drinks his seven. And he drinks his eight. He drinks his nine. He drinks his ten. He drinks his eleven. He drinks his twelve. He's about twelve whiskey gingers into the night. And he's so drunk. And as he's drinking and drinking, he's been thinking and thinking. And you should never drink and think at the same time. That shit doesn't work. You can't drink and think. That's not what you're supposed to do because it doesn't end up very good. At least for this guy. He's thinking about how everything around him is dying. Everything. 
He's never really had to deal with death before in his life, but now because he's older, he has to. He has to come face to face with it, with his family, his friends, his dog. He's thinking about how he's got two kids at home and they're not, they're pretty hungry. He's thinking about how everything's dying. His uncle, his dad, his passion for music. He's thinking about how he's ugly. He's pretty ugly, if you ask him. And he's so sad. And he's so drunk. But he falls down. He falls down in the middle of the bar. And everybody's laughing at him. And he makes his way out of the bar. Before he leaves, he says, Give me one more, buddy. And the bartender hands him a whiskey. He walks out of the bar, he falls out of the bar, and he falls into the street on his hands and knees. And he's crawling across the street on his hands and knees like a pitiful, 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 pitiful. And he makes his way to the other side of the street, and he comes to a big set of double doors. And he kicks open those set of double doors. One, two, one, two, three, four. Oh! He kicks those double doors open, baby. And he walks through the double doors. And he walks onto a big stage with a bunch of, with one little light right in the middle. He walks onto a big stage with one light shining right at his face. And he walks to the center of the stage, right in front of the light. And he picks up the microphone. Nice and slow, he picks up the microphone. And he says into the microphone, he says, Does anybody got a bunch of cigarettes that I can... Does anybody got a bunch of cigarettes? Thanks, baby. Throw them up here. Got it.
I had a mirror on the stage. So I could get a good look at myself when I'm You're singing. You're gorgeous, don't worry!